into the box. He's done it again. Absolutely unbelievable. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time for the one, the only, the Box V4 Finale. Except it's a month late. Um, so basically this was meant to come out in August and, uh, only the Box could be late to his own finale episode. As teased before, this team is full to the brim of Box characters past and present. First of all, we simply have Toolbox. <laughs> He's a box and he's tall. Um, that's probably how I would describe him. You may remember we had Mutant Box just a few episodes ago. His mutation has spread so much that it's actually created a whole new specimen. And it's only really right that a seven foot box would be the one to go in goal. Boxan is also present. <laughs> just the fit of the kit really does still need some work, I feel. We've even got the Junior's Box V4 Junior has celebrated his eighth birthday in the time he's been away. He's also joined at the center back by Box V3. <laughs> by Box V3 Junior. He's a prospect I don't really know. He comes from the bloodline of Box V3. So speaking of which, another apparent prospect, Box V3. If you want a blast from the past, the man that saw it all begin, Box V2. Famous for some quite astonishing moments. I swear you'll never see anything like this. Okay, we'll uh, just, just cut that, cut that. We've got the Bolkiers as well, starting off with Fike. On top of that, we've got his Brunei counterpart, Fake Bolkier. We've also got Alex Boxley Chamberlain. And finally, we have A Farmer. Um, I don't even have a backstory for him. He's just a random farmer from Brunei. We ran out of characters and we needed a left back. So word has it that him and Box V4 are friends from school. Not from when they were students, as in like when they attended school school as in when they used to go to schools in in order to seek out and it all comes together in this quite astonishing team but we interrupt whatever it was that i was talking about to bring you bulkier news he's posted on instagram yep it's it's been a bit of a slow news day unbelievably fight bulkier can still post on instagram and the top comment is still hashtag justice for the box fight mate if for some reason you find yourself watching this video i mean i sincerely apologize apologize if you are watching because I just didn't want this to happen. <laughs> Son Karkos is bidding absolutely nothing and he still believes he's getting robbed. You know what? You might actually be onto something there. Raptors for Life is bidding a fried M&M, the boxer's bra, probably the only cups he's going to be getting his hands on, realistically. The Pro Evolution character, the Cube's Cuban passport, and a ticket for the first 10 minutes of a Greek 5th Division game. It's all right, I can still get some mid-rolls in. We don't mind. Freestyle Bros is bidding Will Griggs' finishing ability, Kyle Walker's new trim, what trim? Pep Guardiola's beautiful bald head, a half-eaten M&M bar. That really is the, the theme of the day. And a half-eaten sheep. I'm afraid I can't accept this bid. Box V4 is a well-known vegan, so the half-eaten sheep will not go down well with him. But your winner for the final ever episode of the Box V4, and hence the man who will hold on to him forever, is John Coulter, who's bidding Alex Iwobi in the final third. The Box's top left cousin, Packaging V4. <laughs> a Senegalese sandwich, and last but not least, a piece of shaving foam impregnated by the box in 1962 during a fight in Eastern Gu Like, what, what does this mean? How have we got to this point where things like this are ending up in my comment section? Just for the pure creativity and ridiculousness of it all, John Coulter, you are the winner of the box V4. Please make sure you look after him, but once I sign him over, I'm not responsible for anything he does. That's all on you now. Now Although it is time for the penultimate game of this entire series. We've got two four foot three players at centre back. That is an issue in itself. The fans at Anfield thought they'd seen it all over the last three years. They've seen Box V2, Box V3 and Box V4. And now they're seeing enough boxes to rival an Amazon warehouse. <laughs>
The toolbox doesn't even fit on the screen. Right, listen. Oh, goodness me. This is going to be something. Box. The trifecta of boxes have already been on the ball. Oh, this is already proving difficult. Box V2 is already given the ball away. Box Sands getting in on me. This is possibly the most surreal thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Box V4 Junior's getting a little bit too big for his boots. Mate, have you even done your homework from last week? Right, now, I, I will be honest with you. I'd be surprised if Norwich don't take advantage of the lack of height in our defence. Or, alternatively, they can just score by playing it along the ground as well. You'd think, realistically, with a seven-foot goalkeeper in between the sticks, all he's got to do is just stick out a limb and it's going to hit him. But no, apparently not. But Fox V4 Jr. got closer to blocking that, and there's genuinely garden gnomes taller than him. Oh, hello, hello, and goodbye. <laughs> Oh, dear mother of God. Box V4 Jr. has been learning far too much from his dad. All three boxes are in the same wall. That is potentially the most iconic thing I've ever seen in my life. All jump, none of them get there, and we've conceded again. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, this is somewhat of a baptism of fire for the Bruneian crew. That's a point, actually. They need some sort of wavy crew name, don't they, really? Like some grime crew. Who needs boy better know the movement nasty crew the square when you can have the nonsense no okay that probably isn't the, the best of ideas norwich might have beaten a fully strength manchester city that has almost scored 100 points in the premier league two years on the bounce headed by the best manager in the world okay I'm, the more i think about it the Bruneians don't have a chance oh but maybe they do <laughs> never mind i've re-evaluated quickly oh my what? No way did that just happen. Look at them. It's, just, it's like two pom-poms in the wall. Toolbox, mate. You, you're saying you're leaving it, but I just don't trust you. Box V3 Junior wasn't even looking the correct direction for the header. This is comedic gold. Like, having this many boxes in one time is its genuinely unbelievable. This is danger. Uh, it's hooked away by Boxan. She's man of the match at this point. Well, no, woman of the... Listen, I'll tell you what, who isn't person of the match? This goalkeeper. Toolbox. It's all well and good having big limbs but it's about what you do with them. And that's a sentence that I hear relatively often. That's a lie. I don't even have a big limb. Um, so an avocado was scored against us. And to be honest, that's the biggest shame of them all. You know what? I believe in fight, Bolkia. He can make something. Well, I mean, he just didn't even. Stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance. Honestly, right? From an attacking perspective, we're not bad. Okay. I mean, we are pretty bad, but not as bad as I expected it to be. Oh, of goodness gracious me, Toolbox. <laughs> toolbox, I mean, listen, we are losing 4-0 to Norwich. You know who I'm looking forward to more from in this game? Box V2. That's not the more that I was really hoping for, to be honest. Now, once more, trouble could be at hand, really. Oh, dear God. That was child abuse on Box V3 Jr. Somebody call the NSPCC. Fake ball Kia puts it in. Unsurprisingly, it's clear. I don't really know what I was expecting. Oh, Boxan! <laughs> Honestly, this many boxes in one vicinity actually almost caused the end of the universe. Either that or the first team coach to jump off a bridge. It was one of the two, I can't really remember. Now, we've got a free kick here in what can only be described as a dangerous position. I want Box V4 Junior on it. Go on, take a step back, my lad. Come on, I know they're quite small steps for you. That's okay. Oh, he I took too long and he's just taken it anyway. And I mean, it's just a car. Oh, crash really
The box V2 has just come in from behind. This could be lights out for box V2. The referee reaches for the red. The original box will take no further part in this game. The juniors can't believe it. That's just a normal situation on the playground for them. I will be honest, the odds of us getting back in this game are slimming by the second. Now, this is his moment. It's box V3 junior. Oh, the step over. Come on, sunshine. No, maybe there is hope for these lot yet in the final game of the series. That is a lie. There's absolutely no hope for these lot in the final game of this series. The, the tall box would get closer to shots if he took his shirt off and used it to swing at the ball as it was going past him. Listen, I've got faith. We can still do this. Edge of the area. Box V4. Oh, it's off the post. Possibly the worst hit shot in history. And it still managed to hit the woodwork again. It's fine margins that decide games. And also the incapabilities of Bruneians usually. That's what I found from this series. I don't really know what fight Bulky has just done, but it really sums it all up. It's 6-0. So overall, it's not been the greatest of times and the greatest of debuts for the box team. But I do genuinely have faith in the fact that they can bring this back in another game. An all-important deciding game that can make them heroes amongst men. But what will be the final game? of the series, the entire Box V4 series that has been an unbelievable adventure from start to finish, has seen so many ups and downs and incredible moments. <laughs> The final game of the series is the Champions League final v Barcelona. I believe in us, all right? We've got Fight Bulkier on the left, okay? And he, okay, he didn't really actually do anything, so. We've got the tall box in goal who let in six goals against Norwich. All right, another, a Box V2, the original OG box member who was red carded in that first game, so he probably shouldn't be the lead example either. I've got nothing folks all right it'll be a miracle of biblical proportions if we get anything out of this so this is the biggest day of their lives how on earth did we get here given we were ultimately knocked out earlier on in the series i hear you ask uh basically in the recent uefa player of the year awards the box v4 was actually chosen over virgil van dyke and along with that award um because he was the first Bruneian to ever be part of that vote, let alone then win it. He was given the opportunity to take his team into the Champions League final. Personally, I don't really agree. I think it's a little bit political if you ask me, but I don't make the rules, okay? I mean, I do, but honestly, I don't think I can even fathom seeing the Box V2 and his companions lifting a Champions League trophy. Can you imagine having the audacity to play out from the back against Barcelona with fraudulent Brunei and sheep farmers? A farmer has won the ball back off Mbappe. To be fair, he's used to that after playing in the French League. Was that a fake shot from Box V2? Who's been teaching him to do that in the last three years? V4 into V2. That's through now into Box V3. Blocked and cleared away because obviously no, no box is going to win an aerial challenge. Fake Bolkia still on the ball. He plays it one more time into Box V4. Into Fake Bolkia, but it's offside. Oh no. How close are we going to come to scoring? We've hit the woodwork twice. We've got a goal disallowed for offside. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an uphill task from here. We've gone 1-0 down to Barcelona. Malcolm has scored. It's a sucker punch, really. We've been the better team. We deserve to be leading this game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is where it gets difficult now. I still have the hope in this team. They c I know they can do this. We need some heroics from someone. Fight Bolkia has been played away. He could be that man. But it's blocked by a Barcelona defender. That was a huge... Huge chance for fight, Bolkia, but well blocked by MTT. Chamberlain, box V3, 
Box V4 on the turn. Oh, yes, lads. With two minutes of the half to go. Box V4 in his own series is still the star man. With all of these characters and main men around him, he is still the one to pull it out of the bag. All the boxers celebrate together. We have scored with Bruneian Farmers against Barcelona. That is an absolute finish as well. The feds are going mental on the touchline. Brunei and Sheep Farmers are on level terms with Barcelona. We are on the charge right now, lads. This is our moment. I'm gonna fling it in the box. It could, you never know what could happen. Okay, that's a lie. I didn't know that would happen. But this is... <laughs> Box V4 Junior has just taken a shot and it's literally hit Box V2 square in the face. That's just not the way to treat your godfather, son. The player to watch is the Box V4. Has that ever been the case before? Has any set of fans ever gone into a football match and suggested that the Box is the player to watch out for? To be fair, he's turned his man and finessed it into a different postcode. To be fair, Maybe the fans do have to watch out because that ball could have struck someone square in the face in the crowd. I just can't believe we're playing against Barcelona with two centre backs who are four foot three, and we've only conceded once. Look at this. There's a farmer on the left swinging the ball in. You know what? If that didn't get headed, that was going straight to V4. This is Boxley Chamberlain through to Box V4. It hits the post. He was on side as well. We come close once more. Listen, there's 20. 20 minutes to go. Box V3 has been played through the center. He cuts back. Oh, and he's put it wide. How have you done that, son? You did all the hard work. This is what this series has come to now. Boxley Chamberlain through for Box V4. Through again into Boxley Chamberlain. This is Box V4. <laughs> he scored a brace. Liverpool 2. Barcelona 1. The Box V4 has scored two goals in a game against Barcelona. He's a literal sheep shearer. A team of 11 Bruneians are beating Barcelona. This is the greatest moment in box history. Have you ever seen anything like this? Of course you haven't, because this is the stupidest series ever made. Box FC, the nonces are currently beating the best team in the world. Literally 13 minutes away from seeing Box V2 lift the Champions League. Fake Bulky has just rinsed Busquets and he's been brought down as well. I thought it was a penalty for a second. It's a free kick. Fake Bulky can put this in. I'm putting it towards the Box V4 because we could actually get him a hat-trick in a Champions League final. <laughs> It's getting dirty from the Bruneians now. This is just a normal kickabout in the park for them. We are three minutes away from the series finale culminating in a Champions League victory. Mbappe will take Barcelona's free kick. It's Is it cleared? It is in the end by fake bulk here and he finds box V3. This is Boxley Chamberlain running ahead very slowly is box V4, but he's still there. This is fake bulk here injecting some pace. Ball in towards Boxley Chamberlain. Box V2! Oh my goodness me! What an effort! Can you imagine if that nestles in the top corner? That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Can you believe what you have just seen? Liverpool have won the Champions League with a team of boxes. Box v falls dynasty. His legacy is that he ends the series winning the Champions League. I can't believe what I have just seen. What have I witnessed? The Sheep Shearers, the Shack Shakers. Box V3 and Boxan enter the stage. Box V2 though, it's only right that the OG Box is the one to lift the trophy. Liverpool and the Bruneians are Champions League winners in this series. Have you ever, ever seen a better sight than this? Box V2 lifting a Champions League trophy 
joined by Box V3 and Box V4, the two bulkiers, and a random farmer that we found from the streets just beforehand. The Bruneians have defeated the mighty Barcelona and taken home the Champions League. One of the best achievements in this channel's history, I'm not even gonna lie. The Bruneian boxers and their Champions League trophy. What a scene! What a day! What a quite simply stunning state of affairs. Box V3 and Box V4 leading the lines. The ever dangerous fake bulkier, Fike on the left. The Prince joined by the likes of the Box V2, the original that started this entire series. Box Lady Chamberlain, the two children of the boxers, the sister of Box V4, Toolbox, and even a random farm that they found on the streets of Brunei. A group of 11 random and extremely horrendous Bruneians can come together and given the correct UEFA bribery can win a Champions League trophy. It's actually inspirational. If you have enjoyed the shenanigans of the Bruneian beasts then slap a like on this video and subscribe if you are new to the channel. You can also follow me on social media. It's at the official FNG on Twitter and on Insta. You might see him again in the future. Who knows? He's probably got plenty of sheep shearing brand deals to complete he's a busy man now but until then it has been a pleasure bringing you this series have a wonderful day enjoy yourselves and goodbye <laughs>